you're told to cut salt from your diet the moment your bp goes a little high no pickles no papads no chaat no chivda even your poha starts tasting like wet tissue paper but hang on is salt really the villain here or is sodium been framed like gabbar singh misunderstood and misquoted namaste i am dr ameya amonkar and this is the fourth video in our hypertension series on edgy cardio wise today we crack open the biggest myth in the bp world is salt truly the root cause of high blood pressure in indians or is there more to the story it's time to separate the facts from the facts so let's dive in let's get one thing clear salt does not raise your blood pressure directly it's the sodium inside the salt that's the trouble maker like the mastermind hiding inside the mob now when you eat excess sodium your body retains water to dilute it so more water equals more blood volume equals more pressure on the vessel walls the heart has to pump harder so your blood pressure rises now over time this stretches the arteries damages their lining and promotes stiffness your kidneys try to help by eliminating this extra sodium but after a point they give up then the sodium builds up and the damage begins now you may ask is there a solid evidence linking salt and high blood pressure yes plenty i would bore you with too much uh, science but some quick data here every 2300 mg of sodium that's equivalent to 1 teaspoon of salt raises blood pressure by several millimeters of mercury in many people now each 20 millimeters of mercury systolic rise means doubled heart attack and stroke risk the intersalt study from 52 countries showed clear correlation between sodium intake and average population blood pressure and finally the dash sodium trial that showed lowering of sodium plus a healthy diet led to a dramatic bp reduction especially in the hypertensives but here's the catch not everyone reacts the same way to salt that brings us to the concept of salt sensitivity have you ever noticed this two people eat the same salty meal one feels fine while the other's blood pressure shoots up like stock market panic that salt sensitivity that means your blood pressure responds significantly to salt intake on an average a high salt diet can raise systolic blood pressure by 5 to 6 mm of mercury in people who are salt sensitive often older adults diabetics or kidney patients the effect is even greater again a little science here in salt sensitive individuals the kidneys can't handle sodium well so there is a higher activity of renin angiotensin aldosterone system which we often call ras that, that's a hormone system with enhanced sympathetic nervous system tone now there is also endothelial dysfunction and arterial stiffness which contributes to the damage now here's the most important part studies suggest that one in two people with high blood pressure in india may be salt sensitive that's far higher than our western counterparts salt sensitivity has a genetic component but it's also influenced by age health conditions and the environment now think of genetics as the base setting and lifestyle or disease as the volume control so are there any tests to identify salt sensitivity now, no single test is used in uh, routine practice but there are research grade methods like uh, sodium loading and depletion tests see they are not practical or available for most patients or rather unnecessary a pubmed review highlights a strong connection between salt sensitivity and insulin resistance both of which are major contributors to hypertension in south asians so instead of blaming salt blindly we need to know your risk factors and how sensitive you are to salt you are likely salt sensitive if you have diabetes or kidney disease are above 45 years old or south asian that that includes us and have a family history of stroke or heart failure now you may wonder doctor families have been eating the same namkeen and papad since childhood why the sudden fuss about salt now well if you are indian you need to care twice as much about salt first indians eat far more salt than we should the who recommended salt intake is less than 5 grams per day that's just around 1 teaspoon but average indian intake is 9 to 11 grams per day as was established in an indian council for medical research study now before we proceed let's clear the confusion between salt and sodium see salt is sodium plus chloride now 1 gram of sodium means 2.5 grams of salt so when label say 400 mg sodium that's actually 1 gram of salt what i'm trying to say is 
our recommended intake it's 5 gram of salt that is around 2300 milligram sodium but we consume double of that that is around 10 gram of salt or 5000 milligram sodium now i hope that brings some clarity now let's talk indian reality we don't just add salt from a shaker we have our own sodium bombs the papads have 800 to 1000 milligram sodium per piece pickles have 1000 to 1500 milligram per tablespoon then there is farsan snacks canned or processed foods bakery items namkeen your maggi ketchups and hidden salt in biscuits snacks breads and even the so called healthy oats or corn flakes and finally if you thought home cooked food is safe just ask the home cook how many teaspoons she puts while making the sabudana khichdi for five people my point here indians especially those with diabetes obesity or family history are more salt sensitive than the western populations even moderate salt intake can raise blood pressure significantly in many indians so not only are we eating more salt but our bodies are less able to handle it and that's the double whammy your uncle had blood pressure at 60 but today's 30 year old it engineer is already on 2 bp tablets did you know salt also possibly increases the risk of stomach cancer via pickled or salty foods and also the risk of bone demineralization as it increases calcium loss so is salt the villain now let me be honest salt isn't the only villain stress poor sleep weight gain sedentary lifestyle it's like a bollywood villain team up but among them salt is the one that we can have control over right now with no cost no medication and no side effects control salt and you control one of the easiest levers of your bp no need for tasteless food just smarter flavor and the real flavor that comes when your heart's beating strong and the pressure is in check in our next video i'll show you 10 ways to cut salt in real indian meals without making food tasteless or depressing we will also discuss about some common myths around salt like himalayan pink salt senda namak and salt substitutes you do not really want to miss this one so please subscribe the channel hit the bell icon and share with a friend who puts black salt on watermelon this is dr amaya monkar from edgy cardio wise helping you take control of your heart one truth at a time goodbye